coming soon from Disney Videos. Hello? From the creators of Toy Story. To infinity. And beyond! Comes an all-new motion picture event. Walt Disney Pictures presents a Pixar Animation Studios film. No! Harry, no! Don't look at the light! I can't help it. It's so beautiful. Now let me tell you how things are supposed to work. The ants pick the food, oh! the grasshoppers eat the food. It's a bug-eat-bug world out there. Someone could get hurt. He's quite the motivational speaker, isn't he? Let's ride! <laughs> it's the same year after year. They come, they eat, they leave. That's our lot in life. It's not a lot, but it's our life. <laughs> <laughs> I've got an idea. We can find bigger bugs to come here and fight. Now, why didn't I think of that? Oh, because it's suicide. What they needed was some help. Ah! You're perfect. What they got... Popcorn, stale popcorn. ...was a bunch of clowns. <laughs> We're losing the audience. Get out there now. They'll only laugh at me. That's because you're a clown. You parasite. Circus bugs! Hey! I thought you were warriors! Come on, Francis. You're making the maggots cry. <laughs> Walt Disney Pictures presents... Ah! I'm desperate! I couldn't tell! A Pixar Animation Studios film. This was not supposed to happen. Squish him. Ah! Ah! Run for your life! An epic. I think I'm going to bet myself. Okay. Of miniature proportions. Ray! We don't serve grasshoppers for the colony and for oppressed bugs everywhere. Hello there, curly bug. Shoe fly, don't bother me. A bug's life. Coming soon on video. Hey, turn your butt off. Available now on Disney Videos. Join your favorite bear, Winnie the Pooh, in a fun and exciting world of discovery in five delightful videos. Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, will we nearly save the old bear? Play along in Happy Pooh Day, a great fun playtime video. Ah, it's playtime, is it? <laughs> Packed with adventures, laughter, and imagination. Plus, there's a special growing up video where you can join Pooh and his friends in fun lessons on growing up, like how to share. Why, thank you, Piglet. And now there are three brand new titles to collect from the Friendship Range, so you can all get closer to all your favorite friends from the Hundred Acre Wood and see how much they care for each other. You're a real friend. Bring home all of these wonderful Winnie the Pooh videos. See if you can collect all five. Yeah, got your helmet deal. From Disney Videos. Exactly. Wake up, Jack. Disney's range of preschool videos just keeps getting bigger. <laughs> with more new titles for you to share with your child. Get ready to wiggle. Join Anthony, Jeff, Greg, Murray, and their four friends as they get ready to wiggle. The Wiggles are always ready to make a song and dance about early learning. See adventure come to life on the animal shelf. Five soft toys on a little blue shelf. With Gumper, Little Mutt, Woeful, Stripey, and Get Up. A lot of fun playing everywhere. Come on, everybody, to a street called Sesame. Come and play on Sesame Street with all your favorite characters. Hi there. The oh, hi. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's how the numbers go. And Thousand Acre Wood is as much a place for fun and imagination as it's always been. Having fun is what tickers do best. The world's favorite bear and all his friends are waiting for you in the wonderful world of Winnie the Pooh. Will we Learning has never been so much fun with Disney's preschool videos that you and your child will enjoy again and again. On a little 
little blue shell. They all belong to Timothy. He chose them himself. They have a lot of fun playing everywhere. So let's get to know them and we'll start with the bear. He's called Gumpa. He likes to snooze in the sun and he has little butts. He's always doing it wrong. This is Woeful the monkey. He looks quite sad, but he's never ever grumpy. And Stripey the zebra, whose wool is very lumpy. And who's this lying on the ground? Her name's Getsop, she's always falling down. Stripey's her friend, but so is everyone else. They're Timothy's special friends on the animal shell. One summer's day, it was so hot that Timothy's special animals just didn't know what to do with themselves. <sighs> this must be the hottest day of the year. Ooh, it's being so woolly that makes you hot, Stripey. Huh. I must be the hottest animal. I wear thicker clothes than the rest of you. My head gets hot. I have to wear a hat. None of you do. Stop arguing, everybody. Look, I've got an idea. Let's go to Splashing Stream. It'll be cool by the water. Yeah, oh, very good idea. Well, brilliant. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. Where's all the water? It's been so hot, the stream has nearly dried up. There's just a trickle of water left. Oh, dear. We'll have to think of other ways to keep cool. Hey, Mum's taking me to the swimming pool. Well, lucky old you. Oh, I'm sorry, Woeful. I couldn't take you to the swimming pool. You'd get all soggy. Don't, um, don't worry about us, Timothy. We'll manage. I know. I'll bring back a prize. A prize? What for? For the animal who thinks of the best way to keep cool. Oh, that'll be me, then. Oh, me, me, me! <laughs> oh, yes, I think I can see that prize in my paws already. Oh, I'll have to think of something. Oh, bye. Good luck. Oh, thank you, Timothy. Though I don't think luck will be needed. Woeful, have you got an idea? No, have you? Oh, yes. <laughs> a great idea. I'll help you make it even greater. Well, <clears throat> this is my idea. It'll be cooler in the passages underground where the moles live. Oh, yes. Let's visit Mrs. Mole. What a brilliant idea. It was my idea. I said it first. Come on. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the kitchen, Little Mutt had made an interesting discovery. What? Wow, that was hot work. Hey, you're telling me I'm worn out. Oh, no, no, no. No, no more piggyback rides. You want to play hopscotch? Oh. Come on, Woeful. Well done, Gumper. This was one of your worst ideas ever. My worst idea? Well, really. <laughs> You little mert. It's this way. Come and see. Oh, what is it? You'll see. Just over here. Um, well, near here. Um, somewhere. It was just here, but it's gone. There's a tiny damp patch. Oh, that was my ice cube. It's run away again. It must have melted in the sun. Oh, no. I love Ice cube! Never mind. Come and see what we can find in Bluebell Wood. Bluebell Wood? No, that's far too far. I'm staying here. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, thank you. Yes, thank you, Mrs. Mole. We would love to play more games. Uh, but we've got to go. It's very late. It's past our bedtime. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, we, we always have a lunchtime snooze. <sighs> <sighs> Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, at last, we escaped. Uh, hello, little mutt. What have you got there? I thought the garden hose would keep us cool, but uh, there's no water in it. Leave it to me. 
I'll turn the tap on. I didn't know you had to do that. Oh, I haven't had an idea, Stripey. But I feel cooler already. So do I. It's because we're in the shady wood. All those leaves to keep the sun off us. Oh, I've had an idea now. Let's sit down in the shade. Oh, yes. <sighs> I can't see any lovely cool water, Gumper. Hmm. If Woeful's turned the tap on, it <laughs> should be coming out by now. I'll go and see what's wrong. Ah. Oh, <laughs> hi, Gumper. Are you just sitting there having a drink? I was thirsty. You were meant to turn the tap on. OK. No, 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 no. I'll do it. Please yourself. I've got a better idea anyway. I remember what they wear in really hot countries. Cool, flowing robes. So, what I need is Timothy's pillowcase. <laughs> wow! Woeful of Arabia! <laughs> the air just wafts around like a cool breeze. Oh, I turned the tap on ages ago. Water should be pouring out. Perhaps something's wrong. Well, of course something's wrong. Sorry. Oh, let's follow the hose. Perhaps it's got a knot in it. No, nothing. No, nothing. No knots. No knots. Oh, look at this. It's Jick. He's pecked right through the hose. Aww. You were thirsty. Oh, Jick. Oh, let's turn that tap off. Oh, I haven't felt this cool for days. Oh, it must be the prize-winning idea. Only thing is... What's the matter? It, do you feel a, a bit, uh, itchy? Oh. Ooh, oh, no. I feel a lot itchy. Oh, dear. Oh, what, what's making us itchy? Oh, ah, oh, oh. Oh, it must be, um... <gasps> ants! Look! Oh, no! No! Oh, we sat on top of an anthill! Come on, Stripey! No! Let's get away! Oh, ah, get away! Oh. 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 You stay there, little mutt. Make sure no one turns the tap on until I've moved the hose. I'll make sure, Gumpa. Hello, little mutt. You mustn't use the tap! Ah! A Gumpa ghost! No, a little mutt. Help! A ghost! I don't look a bit like a ghost. Gumpa! Help! A ghost! To the mutt! It's the ghost! Oh, I'm not a ghost. What's happening, Gumpa? A uh, little mutt thinks he's seen a ghost. <laughs> I'm not a ghost. Look, it's me. Woeful! Why did you dress up as a ghost? I didn't. I'm wearing this to keep cool. But now I feel hotter than ever. Me too. Yes, I'm no cooler. Oh, I feel hot now. Yeah, all hot and itchy. Well, you lot all look very hot and bothered. We are. I don't think any of us has won your prize. Well, that is where you're wrong. You've all won the prize. Look, this'll keep us cool. How will it do that? Just you watch. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, oh, I say, feel the breeze. Oh, that's better. Oh, oh it's lovely. Ah, brilliant. At last, Timothy and his special animals had found how to keep cool on the hottest day of the year. Soft toy. 
is on a little blue shelf They all belong to Timothy He chose them himself They have a lot of fun playing everywhere So let's get to know them And we'll start with the bear He's called Gumpo He likes to snooze in the sun And he has little mud He's always doing it wrong This is Woeful the monkey He looks quite sad But he's never ever grumpy be the zebra whose wool is very lumpy And who's this lying on the ground? Her name's Gitsop, she's always falling down Stripey's her friend, but so is everyone else They're Timothy's special friends on the animal shell One night, Timothy was telling his special animals the story of the three little pigs and the big bad wolf. The second little pig said, No, by the hair of my chinny chin chin, I shan't let you in. And the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house down. Now, what do you think happened to the third little pig? Oh, you're all asleep. I'm not. I'm not asleep. What happened to the third little pig? Shh. I don't want to wake the others. Please, tell me what happened. Oh. Oh, I, I'll tell you another time, little mutt. I'm sleepy now. Good night. Sleep well. I can't sleep well when I don't know what's happened to the little pigs. For a long time, little mutt couldn't stop thinking about the three little pigs, and their houses and the wolf. He just had to talk to the others. Please wake up. What's the matter, little Mert? I'm worried about a wolf. What wolf? One day we might meet a wolf in Bluebell Wood. There aren't any wolves in Bluebell Wood. Or in the garden. I think we should build houses to hide in, in case a wolf huffs us and puffs us. Hmm. Perhaps little Mutt's right. If we build a house in the wood and a house in the garden, we'll always have somewhere to hide. <laughs> from wolves. Or from anybody else we don't want to meet. Yes. We'll start building first thing tomorrow. Thank you, Gumper. Next day, the animals made plans for building their houses. I'll go to the wood with Getup and we'll build a house out of leaves and branches. I'll go to the garden with Little Mutt and we'll build a house out of whatever we find in the garden. Are you coming, Woeful? No. It's silly. I'm busy. Oh, this will be a really strong house. We'll cover it with leaves and then it'll fool any wolf who comes huffing and puffing. We mustn't make a lot of noise, Stripey, in case a wolf hears us. You're right. <laughs> yes, this might make a strong house. Gumpa, I've done it! I've built a house! That was quick. Come and see. It's got flowers. Look! <sighs> Is that it? We'll see how strong it is. I'll huff it and puff it. <gasps> oh, dear. I forgot it was meant to keep wolves out. Squirrel, there aren't any wolves in the wood, are there? <coughs> You've never seen a wolf. <coughs> well, <laughs> I'm going to play a trick. Now, listen. Ow! Wolf squirrel, it was me. <laughs> ow. Oh, 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 oh. Ow. <sighs> Nearly finished. Oh. Oh, oh. <gasps> What's that? Oh. oh, it can't be. Is it? It must be. Oh. A wolf. <gasps> Let's hide. We'll be safe in here. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. I know that voice. Help! Help a wolf! Oh, get up. It's not a wolf. It's woeful. Woeful? <laughs> Down. <laughs> Woeful, come back here. Are you ready, little mutt? Yes. Right, help me turn this carton over. All right, Gumpa. Ready. Here goes. <laughs> Brilliant. 
Uh, little mutt? Hello? Where are you? We'll soon see. Doesn't move. Oh, but now we've got to get you out. I don't mind. I'm safe for a And 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 get up and strike. He thought they'd heard a real wolf. <laughs> but it was me. <laughs> Squirrel. You know there are no wolves around here. <gasps> what was that? Oh, Eck. We'd have finished our house if it wasn't for Wolfle. Oh, no. He's at it again. Go away, Wolfle. You won't fool us this time. Get up. That's... that's not Wolfle. No, it's not. A wolf! Oh, let's get home. Safe. <laughs> Another wolf! Kinka? It was you? You're not a wolf, are you? <laughs> of course you're not a wolf. There are no wolves, are there? Are there wolves? No, not out here anyway. Let's forget about wolves. Come and see the other animals. They'll be thrilled. And if a wolf comes, we'll dash under here and pull the stick away. Then, when he's huffed and puffed and gone away, we can lift it up from inside. Gumper, you are clever. <laughs> Thank you, little mutt. Oh, help. It's a wolf. <laughs> it's chasing us. But look, we've built a house. It's too late. Quick, little mutt. Take shelter with the others. Oh, we've caught it. The wolf. It's in our house. Oh. The wolf's tail. Oh. oh, that's very sad, Kinker. A, a little puppy running out of your fun fair and getting lost. Is everyone looking for it? Well, I haven't seen a puppy, but the others might have done. Let's go and ask. We must tell Timothy we've caught a wolf. He'll know what to do with it. I thought wolves were bigger than that. Whatever it is, it doesn't like being in that box. Hey, look who's here. Oh, hello, King Boo. Uh, he's looking for a puppy. He got lost from the fun fair. Hey, what's in there? We thought he was a wolf. A wolf? <laughs> do you know who's in there, Kinko? Do you mean that's the puppy's tail? The missing puppy! Don't let it get away! Help! Ooh, come back! Oh, the puppy knows you, Kinka. He's happy now. Hello, you lot. Hey, it's Kinka. What have you got there? It's a puppy. He's Kinka's friend and he's lost from the fun fair. But that's amazing. Mum told me about the missing puppy and you've already found it. You are clever animals. I'll go and tell Mum and ask her for some food for the puppy. <laughs> and you thought it was a wolf. I've got a biscuit for the puppy. Oh, 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 let me give it to him. Please, please. <laughs> <laughs> really woeful. Anyone would think it was a wolf. And because you were so clever, I'll finish telling you the story of the three little pigs and the wolf who hugged right, That's all right, Timothy. We know the ending to that story. Can we have something else, please? Something happy? So Timothy told his special animals how happy everyone had been when the puppy was returned to its home at the fun fair. Oh. 
on a little blue shell They all belong to Timothy He chose them himself They have a lot of fun playing everywhere So let's get to know them And we'll start with the bear He's called Gumpo He likes to snooze in the sun And he has little butts He's always doing it wrong This is Woeful the monkey He looks quite sad But he's never ever grumpy be the zebra whose wool is very lumpy And who's this lying on the ground? Her name's Getop, she's always falling down Stripey's her friend but so is everyone else They're Timothy's special friends on the animal shell One evening, it was almost bedtime, and some of Timothy's special animals were missing from the animal shelf. What's happened to the other stripey? Gumper said they were going to the Bluebell Wood for a picnic. Oh, I hope they haven't got lost. Just look at the moonlight. It's like sunlight. Well, little mug, that's because there's a great big full moon shining down. The animals weren't the only ones to enjoy looking at the moon. That very day, Timothy had been learning about the moon at school. Real people have actually been all the way to the moon. Ah! Oh, yes. And they've walked about on the moon. You have to wear space helmets and you bounce around and your legs move quite slowly. How do people get to the moon, Timothy? You have to go in a special metal space rocket and whoosh up into the sky. <gasps> What's the moon made of? I don't know. Some people say it's made of cheese. But we'll talk more tomorrow. Good night. Come on. It's time we all went to sleep. <sighs> Wouldn't take long to get to the moon. It looks so huge. Can't be far away. Listen, everybody. I've been thinking about the moon. What about it, Woeful? If people can go to the moon in rockets, why can't we? Yes. Why not? I want to whoosh to the moon in a rocket. We can bring back some moon cheese for Timothy to take to school. Brilliant. Now, listen, we've all got to go and look for a rocket. And when we find one, we'll all fly off together. Oh, yes. yes, moon, here we come. How can I find a space rocket all on my own? Oh, I've never even seen one. It's good to be metal. We've got to get inside. <gasps> we could get inside this. And this metal. This must be a space rocket. You've done jolly well, little mutt. Yes. Oh, yes. This is a perfect space rocket. Do we all have to go inside? Of course. Hurry up. If don't get to the moon and back soon, it'll be tea time. Ooh. Oh, come on. Come on, let me in. Hey, wait for me. Move up, everybody. Let the mug get aboard. Thank you. What happens next, Wolf? The rocket goes whoosh, and we fly to the moon. Well, that's the problem. This rocket isn't going whoosh. But Timothy never said the rocket's meant to go whoosh. Oh, you're right, Gumper. I expect we have to go whoosh. That's right. We've got to go whoosh. Oh, well, let's do it then. Yes, come on, then. Yes, I'm doing it. This is it, then. A deep breath. One, two, three. Whoosh. We're flying. We're flying. Keep going. Whoosh. Slow down. Whoosh. believe it. We're on the moon. We must be the first woolly animals ever to fly to the moon. It was exciting, but Buffy... Come on, let's start looking around. Yeah, wait, wait. Uh, we've got to walk like... like people walk on the moon. All slow and bouncy. Slow? Bouncy. Slow? Bouncy. Slow? Bouncy. Okay, 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 great. We can do that. Now it's time to explore. Come with me, get up. We'll go this way. Look at all this moon grass. And look at all these moon trees. Look, a moon hedge. Oh, how strange. 
this is a bit like the lane near home. It must be a moon lane. Yes. Oh, listen. Hide. That moon car looked just like Timothy's mother's car. Let's get back to the space rocket. Lots more moon grass and moon bushes. They're just like the grass and bushes in Bluebell Wood. You're right, Gumper. And the moon trees are just like the trees in Bluebell Wood. Gumper, here's your favourite mug. The one with hedgehogs on. You must have forgotten to take it home after the picnic. But how did things we left at our picnic travel as far as the moon? We're not on the moon, little mutt. Sorry. If we're not on the moon, Stripey, where are we? Shh. Listen. There's someone in our space rocket. I say. Oh, hello, Squirrel. That's our space rocket. Oh, well, I suppose it's all right for you to store nuts in our rocket. <laughs> we don't need it anymore. Oh, I see. Are we in Bluebell Wood, Squirrel? And not on the moon. Hello, Squirrel. What's so funny? We didn't get to the moon after all, Woeful. I know that, Stripey. I don't understand it. Yeah, we might as well walk home. <laughs> I wish I knew what went wrong. Got it. I know what we did wrong. Why we didn't get to the moon. Oh, go to sleep, Woeful. We weren't wearing space helmets. Oh, no, don't, don't be silly. That's the only thing Timothy told us about that we forgot to do. But this time, we'll get it right. Come on, come on. I'm not going. No. Oh, all right, I don't care. Who needs a bunch of woolly animals? I'll go to the moon myself. Bring us back some moon cheese, Woeful. I will. I'm off to the moon now, on my own, tonight. I've got a new plan, you'll see. Oh, yes. This'll be a great space helmet. <laughs> This'll get me to the moon. Final check. Space helmet. Back for cheese. Perfect. Here we go. Chick. I say. Chick. Wake up. Oh, I've got a plan. Let's fly to the moon together. Ah. I could climb on your back and you could fly us there in no time. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, please, Jig, be a pal. Ah. Oh. What do I do now? If I don't go back with some moon cheese, the others will laugh at me. Oh. Good morning, every... Hey, where's Woeful? He said he was going to the moon. <laughs> what? Adventure! Whoa. And what a flight! Hundreds of miles, thousands of miles, all the way to the moon and back. Whoa. I bounced up and down all over the moon. Oh, you should have looked, you'd have seen me. Whoa. Do you want to see what I found? A piece of cheese from the moon. Oh. Yes. Was that really part of the moon? Of course it was. Woeful! Is amazing. Have you been nibbling it? Oh, it's a long way to the moon and back. You get hungry. Timothy, you can cheese out of the fridge. No, I need it for your lunchbox. Oh, there it is. Is that our cheese? Yes. You must have taken it last night when you were half asleep. I see you've been nibbling it. You shouldn't eat cheese before you go to sleep. It can give you strange dreams. Woeful. You said you got that cheese from the moon. You said you'd flown there. I'm back. Did I say that? Well, uh, oh, I'd eaten too much cheese. It must have all been a very strange dream. <laughs> <laughs> Timothy soon forgave Woeful for telling tales. He didn't really want his special animals flying to the moon. He'd much rather they stayed safely at home on the animal shelf. On 
a little blue shell. They all belong to Timothy. He chose them himself. They have a lot of fun playing everywhere. So let's get to know them and we'll start with the bear. He's called Gumper. He likes to snooze in the sun and he is little but He's always doing it wrong. This is Woeful the monkey. He looks quite sad, but he's never ever grumpy. And Stripey the zebra, whose wool is very lumpy. And who's this lying on the ground? Her name's Getsop, she's always falling down. Stripey's her friend, but so is everyone else. They're Timothy's special friends on the animal shell. One morning, Timothy asked his mother how each of his special animals had come to live with him. Get up and stripey when you were one year old. But your very first animal was Gumper. Your gran gave him to you the day you were born. So Gumper is the oldest of them all? That's right. But I must get on. I've lots to do. Fancy that. Gumper is the oldest of us all. <laughs> Poor old Gumper. He should be very proud. It's a great thing to be my oldest special animal. Uh, yes, yes. It makes me a, a very special animal indeed. It's great that Gumper's been with me such a long time. This afternoon, we'll have a party in his honour. What? Gumper gets a party just for being terribly old? I'm going to find a present for Gumper. The party starts at tea time. Parties? Presents? Just for being old? I'm going to have my own party. What sort of party? A party for being much younger than Gumper. Oh, I'm sorry Woeful's being so mean. It doesn't matter. I'll go and uh, leave the rest of you to get presents for an extra special bear. The oldest animal on the shelf. <sighs> what if my fur starts falling out? What if Timothy's mother has to sew patches on me? Having a rest? Oh, that's a good idea at your age. I'm not having a rest. I've, I've just been for a, a very long walk. I expect you two are out looking for an extra special present for me. Uh, carry on. I'm going for a run now. Do take care, Gumper. You're not as young as you were. <sighs> not as young as... Maybe I should just sail down splashing stream and drift away into the sunset. I could make a boat. <laughs> That's what I'll do. I'll sail away and have lots of new adventures. You don't want to go to Gumper's party. He's having a party because he's very old. Won't be much fun. Come to my party. Then you can give me presents, big presents. Come back. Where are you going? Please come back. Oh, it's not fair. What sort of present would Gumper like? Well, he does enjoy taking charge and giving orders. Oh, yes, he does. We could give him one of those tubes you shout through to make your voice very loud. Oh, good idea, Get Up. <laughs> we could make him a loudspeaker out of leaves. Then he can give orders loudly without shouting all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, please come to my party, Chick. Ah! It's going to be much better than Gumper's party. Ah! Uh, yes. Yeah, yes, Gumper is having a party. Well, it's because he's so old. Ah! Ah! Uh, my party, we'll dance and sing and play games. Ah! 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 Where are you going, Chick? Ah! Don't forget my present. Oh, this is no good. No one's coming to my party. <sighs> well, I'll just have to go to Gumper's party now. Gumper loves eating, so he'd really like a party cake. I think you make cakes with dough. I know. Timothy's got some dough. Here it is. I can make a really big cake with all this. Hello, Gumper. Are you making a bonfire? Oh, don't be silly, Woeful. It's a boot. And I'm the captain. <laughs> Call that a boat? It's just a lump of old wood and bits of rubbish. You're not going to set sail on that thing. Well, of course. I'm going to sail away into the sunset. But you'll miss your party. Everybody wants to be there. I don't care. They'll laugh at me just because I'm older. No, they won't. Well, you did. Oh, yes. 
I'm sorry, and... Oh, please come to your party, Gumper. Nope. I've made my mind up. I'm going to sail away. Hmm. All I need now is a sail. It'll be a brilliant party, I promise. <laughs> oh, dear. Making a cake is very, very difficult. Oh, poor old Gumper. He mustn't sail away in that silly rickety boat. It, it'll fall to bits in no time and then he'll fall into the water and he'll get all soggy and... I'll get him an extra special present. Then he'll stay. Well, it does look like a loudspeaker, Stripey. Let's see how loud it can speak. Testing! Testing! Hello! It works! Hello, everybody! Welcome to the party! This is Gumper's extra special party. They've started without me. He's having an extra special party because he is much older than any other animal. Oh, that does it. I'll sail away into the sunset the moment this boat's ready. Well, Gumper is lucky. What a lot of friends he's got. Everyone's bought presents. And I've brought an extra, extra special present. <laughs> Woeful! That's off my old bicycle! When Gumper wants to say something important, he just has to ring this. And then he can talk through this. You've all done very well. Oh, but where's Little Mutt? I've made an extra special party cake. That's great, Little Mutt. But my special animal isn't here. Oh, oh no. Oh, dear. I know where to find him. The time has come for Captain Gumpar to launch his boat. Gumpar! Gumpar, stop! Uh, sorry, Woeful. I'm rather busy at the moment. But everyone's waiting. It's your party. Sorry. It's time for me to set sail. Help me launch my boat, would you? No, no push. Don't pull. Push. Oh. Now look what you've done. Stand back. I'll launch it myself. <laughs> Oh, no! Oh, my boat! Never mind, Gumper. You can sail away another day. Come to the party. Everybody wants to see you. If you don't come, what will we do with all the extra special presents and the cake? Presents? Cake? You're right, Woeful. Y yes, it, it would be jolly selfish if I didn't let all my friends give me lots of extra special presents and <laughs> help them eat lots of cake. Thank you all for my extra special presence. Very odd. You all seem to think I like eating. Try the cake, Gumper. Mm. Yes, it looks delicious. Oh, 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 it tastes like clay. It's dough. I got it from Timothy's bedroom. But, Little Mutt, that dough is for making models, not for eating. <laughs> Never mind. What about the other presents, Gumper? Are they brilliant? Yes, a, a shiny whistle from Jick. <laughs> oh, what a pity the peas fallen out. Uh, but I can use the bell and shout orders through the loudspeaker. Mind you, I, I don't know why you think I like shouting orders. <laughs> <laughs> I know you like being in charge, so I bought you this. <gasps> Oh, thank you, Timothy. I can be Captain Gumper after all. Three cheers for Gumper! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Gumper really enjoyed the party, and all his friends knew he was a very <laughs> special animal indeed. Uh, be quiet, everyone. I've rung my bell. Five soft toys 
is on a little blue shelf They all belong to Timothy He chose them himself They have a lot of fun playing everywhere So let's get to know them And we'll start with the bear He's called Gumpa He likes to snooze in the sun And he is little but He's always doing it wrong This is Woeful the monkey He looks quite sad But he's never ever grumpy be the zebra whose wool is very lumpy And who's this lying on the ground? Her name's Getop, she's always falling down Stripe is her friend but so is everyone else They're Timothy's special friends on the animal shell One night in early autumn Timothy's special animals were kept awake by the sound of a firework display in the village. Someone keeps turning the lights on and off! Don't be silly, little mutt. Those are fireworks. Hello? Can't you sleep? No, we can. Not with the noise of those fireworks. I know. Let's all sit up and watch the fireworks till they finish. Oh, yes! But, uh, brilliant! Come on! Oh, 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 my word! Look at that! Oh, oh, that's fantastic! Oh, I think I like fireworks. Timothy and his animals were thrilled by the fireworks and watched them for a very long time until the sky finally went dark. But next morning, everyone wanted to sleep and sleep. Timothy, wake up! Uh, oh, oh, come on, you'll be late for school. Oh. What's the time? I think you need a big, loud alarm clock to get you up in the mornings. Now hurry up. Going! The animals were glad they didn't have to go to school. But when at last they did wake up, they remembered a plan. Come on, get a move on. We're going to hunt for conkers. Oh, yes! Conkers! Hurry up. Look lively. Woeful, aren't you coming? No, too tired. Anyway, conkers are kid stuff. Please yourself. Bye-bye, everyone. What's that? Hmm. Let's have a look. Some sort of clock. Aha! This must be Timothy's new alarm clock. Hmm. I wonder what these buttons and knobs do. This is a good place for conkers. I can't see any. Ah! Help! An earthquake! Hello, Mrs. Mole. <coughs> uh, yes, yes, yes. We all saw the fireworks. Bang! Wee! Boom! Wee! Yes, the baby moles are excited. <coughs> well, if you want to tire them out. They could help us look for conkers. Timothy's new alarm clock. Oh, no! I don't know how to stop it. Don't worry, I'll stop it. Uh, it must be one of these knobs. What is going on? My alarm clock's just gone off, but it's the middle of the night. You must have set it for the wrong time, silly. Oh, sorry, Mum. There, I've set it for 8am tomorrow morning. Now you go straight back to sleep, Timothy. Good night. Good night, Mum. Woeful, have you been fiddling with my clock? Me? Would I do a thing like that? Oh, 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 oh that alarm. It's horrible. It's noisier than a firework. Look, calm down, you lot. I saw how Mum turned the alarm off. There. It'll be all right now. Is that noise going to wake us up every day? Wow! Burr, brilliant! I think it's time to hide the clock. Oh, yes, please. But how will Timothy wake up for school? Well, it's easy. Uh, we stay awake all night, then wake him in the morning. Oh, no! Oh, don't worry. We'll take it in turns. We each stay awake for a while, then wake the next one. <laughs> 
That's what they do in the army. It's called guard duty. <laughs> Woeful. Stop fiddling with Timothy's clock. I'm not. I just want to see how it works. Where can we hide it? We could put it under this bucket. Ah, good idea. Here it goes. Bye-bye, clock. <laughs> it's even louder than before. One of us must hide the clock a long way from the house. Come on, get up. We'll do it. Together. I know. We can hide the clock under this pile of leaves. Oh, that's a good idea, get up. <laughs> Great. Nobody could see the clock under there. And now it's time to play Conkers. Oh, that's no good. Let me have a go. No. Why should we? You wouldn't help look for conkers. What's wrong, Squirrel? Something's making a horrible noise in your tree. The alarm clock. Squirrel must have taken it home and now he's frightened to go back. Uh, woeful. Uh, go and help, Squirrel. Why me? He's woeful. You're the best at climbing trees. Well, it's a good thing I don't want to waste my time playing conkers. <laughs> Come on, Squirrel. Oh, fancy hiding an alarm clock under a pile of leaves. Ah, anybody could find it there. I'll do a proper job. <laughs> That's it. Right. Time to help Gumper with his guard duty. night, while Gumper and Woeful were on guard duty, they heard a distant ringing noise and set off to investigate. That's Timothy's alarm clock. But where is it? I buried it just here, but... Oh, someone's taken it. We can't let it ring all night. We've got to find it. Woeful and Gumper searched and searched until... The alarm finally stopped ringing. But they were so tired, they forgot to wake up Stripey, who was next on guard duty. And the following morning... Timothy, wake up. You're late again. Didn't your alarm clock ring? I don't know. Where is it? Have you hidden it? No. Timothy. I don't know what's been going on, but I want that alarm clock back on your dresser, please, by this evening. But I... Now hurry up and get dressed. Don't worry, Timothy. We'll find your clock. It was near here we last heard the alarm. Gumper! Look! Mrs. Moe! <coughs> Why are you sleeping out here? <coughs> A noisy firework in your house? <coughs> yes! It's all right, Mrs. Mole. We make sure it's safe to go home. That's not a firework. It's Timothy's alarm clock. Brilliant. There you are, Mrs. Mole. <laughs> it's safe to go home. <laughs> Come along, Woeful. We must return this to Timothy. The night before, Timothy's mother had shown him how to make the alarm ring more quietly. So, next morning, Timothy woke up in time for school. But his special animals slept on. <laughs> You're lucky. You can all have a nice lie-in. Special friends, special. The Timothy special friends. 